It has been the subject of Hollywood movies and is on the must do list for Bay Area tourists. Now this small island that's in the middle of the bay is facing global warming. It's the newest chapter and it's already fascinating history. Alcatraz was a Civil War fortress, a military prison, as well as a notorious federal prison. It's where Al Capone, Machine Gun Kelly, and Robert Stroud, the bird man of Alcatraz, all did time. It's also the cradle of the modern Native American civil rights movement, where in the 60s and 70s, indigenous peoples occupied the island. Today, Alcatraz is a significant sanctuary for several species of seabirds, as well as a top tourist destination for visitors from around the world. Now, the rock is threatened by sea level rise as glaciers and ice sheets melt. In tonight's Project Earth, a first look at a groundbreaking 3D mapping endeavor, one that will help the National Park Service monitor and protect this historic landmark. I'm drinking my coffee. The early morning boat ride from San Francisco took about 15 minutes. Maybe. On board, an archaeologist Maybe. with the National no. Park Service right. and a cutting edge technologist from Washington State. Notice that. Their destination? Alcatraz. It's always great to be out on the bay and, and come up from San Francisco to Alcatraz. There's a lot of history that's, that's happened here. How lucky am I that I got the call? to come in and document all of Alcatraz, yeah. the entire island, yeah. inside and out, every space, every building, every tunnel, using all kinds of different technology, LIDAR, photogrammetry. It's basically technology that enables us to create a perfect, and when I mean perfect, I mean less than a centimeter, a number of millimeters accurate model in 3D of the entire island. Pete Kelsey of VCTO Labs and park ranger Peter Gavette are back on Alcatraz to talk about the amazing endeavor. In December, Kelsey and his team of experts, all volunteers, camped out for three weeks on the island. There were mornings when the rain was blowing sideways and the wind was blowing 40 miles an hour. As to why create a 3D map? Sea level rise and climate change, there are, are portions of the island that are eroding and with this uh, pinpoint in time, we'll be able to, to do future scans and be able to to see what, how, what has changed, what parts of the island are, are having more impacts than the others. The team scanned every nook and cranny on the 22-acre island using drones for the hard-to-reach areas and a robot dog where it was not safe for humans to enter. We're going into D-Block, which is where we slept for a couple of weeks, where the Alcatraz kept the worst of the worst. Spending the night was essential since the team had to do their work early in the morning before the tourists arrived. So this is D block, third tier, cell number 31. This was my home for three weeks. Which meant no cushy mattress, showers or heat but there were plenty of good stories. Just a few cells down, one of the most notorious criminals in American history. And a rather notable inmate was in this cell for years. That was Robert Stroud, the Birdman of Alcatraz. The team had full access to areas that are off limits to daily tourists including the hospital wing with its dental office, x-ray room, and infirmary where Al Capone suffered from untreated syphilis. I don't like this part, but here we go. <laughs> then there were the cells. The empty tile room. Where the mentally ill were held and locked into showers. I mean, it's just chilling to me. Outside the cell house, a thriving bird sanctuary. There's many different uh, seabirds that nest here. 11 different nesting species now call Alcatraz home. Thanks to global warming, it may become an even more important sanctuary. And we've seen a change in what species are nesting here. Morgan Barnes is a park biologist. She explained as oceans continue to warm, more seabirds, including those nesting on the Fairlawn Islands, may head to Alcatraz for food. 
we think the freshwater inputs into the bay can create a more stable food source for them. So it, as climate change continues, it is going to be a really important place for them to be nesting. Saving Alcatraz, as the planet continues to warm, it's a passion project for both these men. It's the history of our nation, it's the history of California, it's the history of Native Americans. You know, we need to look out for this place. So it's here for generations to come. Fascinating, isn't it? Thanks to our producer, Molly McRae, for taking that ride to Alcatraz and taking us there. So Pete Kelsey and his team are now heading to Hawaii to create baseline 3D maps for the islands. Their first stop, Maui, to map out the piers, which are critical for the economy.